The battery bank behind me is a 48 volt system, but I want to do some projects with some 12 volt stuff coming up here. So today's episode, we're going to make a little battery tester for 12 volt systems. Just kind of a quick little cheap DIY thing. So here we go. Here's where I'm going with this idea. I have this headlamp bulb uh, for cars and it's a 100 watt 12 volt. And then I have this little watt meter. It'll display both watts and watt hours as well as the volts and amps. And this is just the little shunt that's used for it. So I figure I can connect these up in some kind of neat fashion so that I can connect them to 12 volt batteries such as this one as well as some other 12 volt batteries that I'm going to be building uh, coming up here in some future projects. Well we need some kind of holder for this lamp and I've got a bunch of copper pieces in here so maybe something that I can put this inside of. It looks like it, it might just barely make it if I bend this one tab. All right. Yep, that'll be a good fit. Here's our quick down and dirty meter, less than an hour. We have a watt meter here with a shunt, a copper pipe, holes drilled in the side for airflow, 100 watt, 12 volt headlight. Okay, so as you can see we have kilowatt hours on the right, on, there we go. See how it's uh, ticking up now, one watt hour. So we successfully reset it. Actually, that is too much heat. All right, shoot. Well, I'm gonna have to cool that off then. Well, this was getting way too hot, so dumb idea, I guess. Uh, let's, uh, let's change this up and do something different. All right, so we don't need that headlight. So I have this little inverter that I use when we go car camping. I'm using 10 gauge cable here. We can go ahead and screw this guy on. So let's try this out. I couldn't do it with just one because the only light bulbs that I have are these uh, compact fluorescents and LEDs. That's one of the downsides of being energy efficient, right? <laughs> We don't have the old-fashioned bulbs anymore. And turn that on, and let's plug this in. This five watts, that's just for this little inverter. Good, but I want to test at 100 watts. Ah, 66. This is an old rope light. We're at 137, wow! All right, so the rope light actually uses quite a bit. So this is probably the best combination. We're at 105 watts with an old strip of lights, three of these compact fluorescent bulbs. Okay, well, we accomplished the mission. <laughs> One of the benefits is that this inverter will shut itself off around 10 volts uh, and not kill the battery. So I don't have to manually be out here uh, if it's taking a long time to drain a battery. So that part is good at least. <laughs> But certainly not as elegant as, as I was hoping for. I wanted just that one little bulb, but uh, maybe what I can do is go out now and get just one 100 watt light bulb. Maybe they still sell them. I don't know. I'll have to check. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for watching. And if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.